growth of 45% in total post pandemic the majority of the tasks the, in, uh, the indians complete online are right from posting on social media to paying bills even though 58.7% uh, of the people still watch television uh, to other forms of entertainment digital me, uh, entertainment is ga uh, gaining up this increase is the result of more individual spending time on their cell phones thanks to more affordable data plans and less expensive smartphones digital marketing is helping brands identify potential uh, customers all over the world engage them create brand awareness sell and promote product and services at affordable price and earn higher uh, return on investment which is done with the help of artificial intelligence machine learning augmented reality and other leading uh, and other uh, uh, tools that leads to personalization of marketing strategies it is predicted that the keyword used in the searches will be redundant and will be re uh, replaced by voice searches as almost more than 50% of the youngsters are now using voice searches on the search engines with advancement of new technology they be helping digital marketing grow bigger and better there is a tremendous need of such books that will help all the stakeholders marketers academicians citizens of the world Uh, understand learn and implement the techniques of digital marketing in a better way therefore anchoring this launch of this book was important to me on saying so i would now like to invite dr siddharth singh bish director honorable vice chancellor uh, professor dinesh avanti uh, our mentor and guide uh, dr pk mathai professor dabar mehta for the brilliant ideas uh, all our faculty colleagues uh, and student friends uh, dr pk uh, I do remember the time when uh, Jigdesh had joined us as a student, and I remember him to be a very bright student, always coming with new ideas, always buzzing with energy. And uh, I do remember that Jigdesh had joined us in the second year. He completed his first year in an institute. So uh, I believe it's not a risk over there. So if you complete your one year in a certain institute, then probably you want to come over there to his seventh year at stake. Then uh, throughout his period when he was in the corporate, he remained in touch. You would always say that, sir, I want to do research. I want to write. I want to be to academics. Now there are several times when uh, you know Professor Dignesh approached us to join the institute, and incidentally, some of my believe that he joined us a couple of years late because when he would have a vacancy, Dignesh should be tied as well. But he would want to come. We had no vacancies, so probably this uh, idency continued for some point of time, and then uh, eventually somehow uh, the rivers parted, and uh, Dignesh came across over here. When Jignesh came, he had a stint uh, in the corporate also and probably in the academic world also. And by the time he was already into writing, so once he joined over there, so I be very very frank that uh, though I like writing, I have not been the best person to actually encourage him because I have always encouraged him to write research papers. But then he said, uh, I do remember he shared his dream one evening. Said, Sir, when I said dream is that I want to write five six books. They have to be in my name. It's just he said there's no particular reason why I want to do it. But I just want that it is a part of my bucket list that I just want to write five six books with my name over there and in the domain of management. Then I realized that probably it's a dream that is worth pursuing and worth supporting also. So then Jignesh started off and he has been writing books. This particular book he asked me to write a forward. Thank you so much for uh, you know giving me a chance to write a forward. Uh, first key word appealed to me uh, was probably the title. And if you look at the book title, so you know it is about digital marketing, but that too in a hashtag here. Yeah. Now I, uh, so uh, though I am in the domain of marketing, but I do not claim to be much tech savvy. But my limited understanding of the hashtag era is that mm -hmm. hashtag mostly on social media is used to tag someone. If you want to pinpoint or get out of a certain target market. So at that time the title got hold of me because for many people who are not probably that tech savvy or people who are tech savvy they would eventually understand that if you are talking of a hashtag over here hashtag is that you are trying to catch hold of a certain specific target segment using a particular keyword. So that got hold of me and though I claim to have very less knowledge of what has been written in that book as I read it I realized that more than.
written a book because books are written in a certain way, there is a certain fluid way. It is written more as a ready regular for practitioners to actually practice. Normally what happens is books tend to be very worthy, there's a lot of words inside, a lot of storytelling. But his book is very much to the point. If it is about YouTube, what's the importance, what is the relevant, what should be the content like and how can you make money. One thing which was very pragmatic about the book was if any tool has been mentioned, how can you make money out of it has been mentioned. So though I looked at it as fine, but I realized that probably for someone who is investing time and money and wants to read the book, it makes a lot of sense. Because at times it's not necessary that people want to uh, read a book for the heck of it. They always want something out of it. So what I did is, I put together certain points that I found interesting in this book. First, I found that there was an exclusive focus on Google and its tools. Because, see, digital marketing probably is extremely wide. But we understand that probably today digital marketing is looked it is to the lens of Google. It, is, it has to be looked upon. So I found that there was an exclusive focus on Google and its software. I also found that, uh, for example, there was a topic of double clicks over there. One thing very unique was that if there was any tool used, Professor Jignesh had tried to highlight upon the target segment for which it should be used. Because there are so many tools, there is a huge chance that we might get lost as to which tool should be used. So he specified that each tool is to be used for this particular segment. How to use it and ultimately bottom line, how to make money. Of course at times, you know, you will start to smile at the only thing that you realize that money making is objective. But then I realized that this is not only for normal readers, but this is basically for marketing practitioners. So it makes a lot of sense to bring objectivity. I found that certain keywords that otherwise are not in the domain of marketing but remain in the domain of digital marketing. For example, double clicks, campaign manager 360, search ads 360. These were terms that were probably new to me also. Though I belong to the domain of marketing, many things were new for me. So I realized that probably for someone who is like coming of age when it comes to digital marketing, probably going through this makes a lot of sense because all those new terms that are like crept into the marketing world can be understood from here. I also found that a part of using of certain key terms, explaining each action, the utility, very interesting the pros and cons. At many places you have mentioned what is positive and what is negative. So there is a certain objectivity. At times it happens when someone writes something, they kind of fall in love with it. But he has been very objective. If he found that something had a flaw, he made it a point to mention it. Okay? Other thing that I like that the book does not try to imprison me or the reader into those deep technical terms, but simplifies them and teaches them how to implement it. So each topic was dwelt upon for probably one, one and a half page, but an equal amount of time and pages for utilized and how to implement it and how results are going to come out of it. So probably certain things I like the focus was into Google, its analytics, okay, its audience uh, repeats and the display networks. These are certain things I particularly liked in it. Again, I did mention that uh, I didn't go through it entirely, I went through it 50% of it, but whatever I read, I liked it and probably go more through it. It took me a little time because certain things were new for me. So I realized that uh, probably once one goes through the book, probably the focus is more on the practitioner part. Again, it makes me happy also because uh, we think that it's a book that's written probably for students. But then the focus of the book is more towards practice. So I congratulate you and again, uh, I hope this will not be the last of books because due to the bucket list that you had mentioned, you are supposed to be writing six books, I believe you have written two, so this is the third. So three more to go and uh, so more events. Uh, again, I'll be blessed if you again ask me to write a forward, but I think so. You might probably best do the favors to others as well. So it was a pleasure and it's a very nice book. And I would also request that the way we are doing this event, uh, you know, for the team, we might do a similar thing for the students as well because many of them ultimately would be taking digital marketing and I believe they can benefit out of it. Uh, so thank you so much. Okay. And congratulations. Thank you. One thing, I just want to try to agree with you. IDA is speaking of business and business management. And IDA University are getting tremendous approval and grace of the academic community to which, to which whom I interact with was about the Pilar University. And the faculty is highly spoken of. The reputation for honesty and integrity is beyond anybody's imagination. And the faculty <coughs> strength, the, 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 
the faculty quality is improving when it has gone to very high levels. <coughs> there is one Sanskrit slok, Labas Tesham, Deyas Tesham, Kutas Tesham Parayat. This is the person who is in the, in the, in the, in the, in the driving seat, Dr. Mehta said, with a Krishna and Siddharth with a Manju. And so, Nabas Pesham, how can they get wrong? Well, we have an excellent institution in Nagarari, we have outside us. Or Vishnu ki stuti hai Nabas Pesham. Or Vishnu ki stuti hai Nabas Pesham. सेकंड पार्ट अगर बताएं तो आप बताएं मुझे सेकंड पार्ट नहीं याद है आपने बताया शाम इंदिरा शाम और दयस्तो जनाब हाँ दयस्तो जनाब तो दे आर बाउंड तू सक्सेस एंड द लिबरल पॉलिसी आह ये यूनिवर्सिटी एस एस फाइनेंस एंड रेस डिवीजन आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ इट व्हेनेवर ए फैकल्टी राइट्स ए बुक और एन who I consider to be an Indian Shulpeter because Shulpeter was a pioneer in this kind of entrepreneurship and he had devoted all his life to expand the concept where the concept is of developed by Shulpeter long back in 1950 and Gujarat uh, has been an outstanding entrepreneurship development institute uh, you know, and, and he has, he has uh, rather expanded their model to several countries. So I am very proud of being a part of LG Institute of Management, LG University, with Brother Simon Sinkai, and with all the faculty who were very bright. Uh, and, and I had, when I was studying, I never came across the girls so bright. So uh, the way they dress up and, and, the, and the mixing of beauty and brain. This is the characteristic of LG Institute of Management Studies. I compliment uh, the author and hope he will be writing the book again and again. Could you one comment on what he said? That research article may be better, but I, when I was young in 1958, I came across a book, Guide for Philosophy by C. E. M. Jode. And then I thought, oh, Provident philosopher showed in writing a type and then when I read it, it was more than the original contribution of so many philosophers. Guide was only that you try to understand what is happening on the frontier of knowledge. I am glad that he has shown us the frontier of knowledge because when I was studying, the calculator was not there. I think it's the machine where, where it was yes, rotating, what was it called? Yes, Facet. That was considered with the height of that one. Then came this calculator. Then when I was in the University of Minnesota, the computer was as big as this room. As big. Uh, and we were looking at it as God. It was a glass wall and you looked through the glass. And then came a laptop and a desktop. So I have seen the evolution going from the in 1968, at Harvard University, when I was there uh, for 68, there was no computer because computers came in Britain only from after 1980 when laptop and now this book is based on uh, such, such, such good computer technology and it, it shows us how to operate which I don't know anymore, uh, accepting internet and all that. I congratulate the compliment you have come, but the main architects, three of them, Trimurti, I give my respect to the creating of the high basis. You are a part of this mystery. Language communication. I still remember, sir, you should call me in the cabinet. The SNE, SNE code. You see the dictionary, you read the newspaper. This was the small, small speech that Mehta sir used to do. Uh, good afternoon, Dhawan Mehta sir, Vice Chancellor, again, always motivating and keeping us ahead after we are, we are always there. And the entire support system that an MBA has, that is Siddharth sir, uh, the director. 
and my colleagues who are always been supportive to me. I welcome you everybody. Though summarizing in a book in just a few seconds won't be uh, like a, a very good judgment to the book, but yes, I would try to recognize that there are few uh, tools that Google is providing, free of cost, and if you want an advanced version, it is chargeable like 200 rupees for a month and they can grow the business. And uh, the book was actually focused on making the youngsters use the Google technology and grow their businesses. And to grow their businesses, to earn from them, like, uh, many of them like uh, just go to their home and just go and uh, click on your Gmail account, it gives you free YouTube account to be created. So you can create the videos, you can upload it under certain likes and followers and subscribers, you get a very good amount uh, for, for you. So the, uh, in the digital marketing, the word hashtag era that I have used, used it to be just a keyword hashtag and I use that thing. I would just uh, talk few things about the book. Uh, each Google product, there are six main Google products that anybody can use it uh, for creating the campaign, launching the campaign and getting the campaign results what is the main thing that the book has covered how to see the results and where we are standing what are the keywords and how much i have grown like my website how many views i have how many views have been done and how many people have actually landed to the purchase page so actually this book carries you from a launching of a campaign to how successful the campaign is but the objective of uh, and the objective of the book was that everything, whenever I went to uh, internet, everything that I got was very heavy words, uh, terminologies, the way the Google has written everything, it was totally even difficult for me also, coming from a digital market, and even my PhD is on digital marketing, then, then too it was difficult for me to understand each and every terminology. So I thought anybody who want to go into digital marketing or make the business digital would face this problem. And hence, the material was uh, understood by me, the entire material, I downloaded it, I copy pasted it, I studied still how the good language can be made so that it can be understandable by any layman language, any layman who wants to uh, digitize the business. And that was the thing which I actually carried out in the book. Somewhere or other I also thought that uh, yes, uh, students uh, over in LJ or anywhere, students pursue two things in their career. Either they go for a job or they go for an entrepreneurship. So if they go for an entrepreneurship, this book is a boon for them. Like short term business goals can be achieved and they can become much more richer. So this was the entire uh, objective of this book, to write the book. And I thank you everybody for coming over here. I thank the luminaries who are there spending the time for the book launch. And I would request all the dignitaries to come on the desk for the book launch. Thank you. Amazon page, I can go 
value based in budgeting is based on. So uh, this book will give me some lead if I can earn some money out of the spending money. <laughs> so, so I try to uh, pick up some clues from your book and let me see right next year how richer uh, I become or how heavier first I am able to carry with me after implementing a couple of things. I, of course, there are terminologies which I am not quite uh, aware of doing it because again, I, as I told you, I did belong to this uh, BC age, before computer age. Uh, you guys are uh, AC age, you know, with access to computers and information technology, those kind of things. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, I found the book very interesting. You keep on turning the page and it's like an onion, you keep on feeling it and something new keeps on coming and you see it. And for people like me, technical terms, they forget what they read earlier. So again you turn back and so back and forth it will be really interesting for me. Um, and as far as writing book is concerned, I, I appreciate your right your idea of writing books do that. But uh, what happens that books, uh, unless they are written by very uh, high names, do not fetch you that which can reach a research paper. So you should publish a research paper in economic and political weekly or uh, some good journal, journal management, even recall by kind of journals. And all of a sudden you get huge visibility, you have big readership, and then people start quoting you. Now, you have written three, I have written eight books. Uh, except the book which I wrote on evaluation of entrepreneurship development programs, which has, I think, few thousand references. Because that was the first work in this area. Anybody have tried to evaluate entrepreneurship development programs? So I did a, a new methodology and so Except that, I don't think uh, many references of my books, but papers have been referred to it. So please do continue writing books, but I will by certainly urge upon you to write, to concentrate on research papers, which will give you much more visibility than these books. Of course, these books are good for students. So, from a social enterprise point of view, you can say that when books are for students, and it is our moral responsibility to uh, transfer knowledge. And the best way to transfer knowledge to students is books, because they will not be reading research papers. I agree. But when it comes to generation of knowledge, I think it will be important for you to carry it. If you publish uh, some six papers, usually six books. But nevertheless, this is very, very uh, intensive work which you have done. I am certainly going to read it because I find some at least YouTube kind of sentence quite interesting. I am told that these YouTubers are making a lot of money. So some jokes also they make money. Say some jokes or some poetry or so there's a lot of following. So uh, every time you open something and go, I listen to the classical music, how many likes and dislikes and those kind of things. And that earns them money. So good uh, is a book worth reading, worth following, and uh, I'll make good use of it. Congress is just keep us again for writing this and putting your thoughts together is going to be a great boon to the students. Because you don't have many books. I, I, after reading this book cover now, then I try to click uh, on Amazon, you know, what kind of books are there. And there are books that with 30,000 rupees or 15,000 rupees can happen. So it's very difficult to afford those books. Uh, this book, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what is the price, but I hope it is affordable. That's it. So it's a good idea to uh, organize in the workshop on the book for your students and they might get encouraged to buy it. So if nothing
think you will get richer by some some about but how that you think of so much of labor in this but besides making others clue giving clue to become rich to others like us so thank you very much for inviting me here and wish you all the best for your remaining three four books and two papers from you thank you very much Jignesh, my colleagues and student friends. Uh, good afternoon all. It indeed is a good afternoon because one of our younger colleagues who had been a student over here is now publishing a book and which is now in the public domain. So it's an immense pleasure as a teacher and one of the uh, older faculty over here to see uh, the younger generation grow. Uh, so first of all, let me congratulate you um, Jignesh and may you achieve your dream of publishing five books, maybe many more in the coming time, very soon. Uh, and indeed this book, I went through it yesterday. So it seems that it can be a very good handbook for uh, the entrepreneurs as well as the practitioners um, who want to just uh, have a quick reference about how to deal with the digital marketing. Uh, so uh, I'm sure this can provide a, a quick suggestion. So many, many congratulations and all the best to you. Being one of the oldest uh, in the uh, LJ MBA fa uh, faculty uh, family, the responsibility of expressing gratitude to have today's function successful lies on my shoulder. So let me, uh, uh, first of all, uh, thank um, uh, Mr. Sir for accepting this invitation and doing the honor of um, uh, uh, launching this particular book. Um, which very rightly said can be a very good uh, uh, book for the uh, uh, for the students as well as for any practitioner. And knowing Jignesh, I'm sure, sir, as uh, you will refer it, uh, it will certainly give you some clues to uh, instead of like spending money uh, and uh, uh, you know earning some money uh, uh, with the use of this technology. So uh, thank you, sir, for like uh, sharing your observation about the book and sharing your observation about how the academics should go about and. Uh, most important part, ki this is one of the unique uh, piece of book which is going to be affordable for students because otherwise this is a, uh, this area since it's growing the books are very very expensive. So um, thank you very much sir for uh, uh, doing this honor. I thank you uh, Dhawal Mehta sir as well as uh, uh, P.K. Mehta sir for being here and motivating uh, Jignesh uh, for by, uh, your presence itself. It's a great, uh, I mean, great motivation. Uh, thank you, Sadaji, uh, for introducing the book. And we've seen you always supporting the younger faculties, uh, especially, uh, you know, Jignesh, I'm sure, has learned a lot from you. Uh, from teaching the marketing, dealing with the marketing, to uh, writing uh, about the concept which he is dealing with, right? Uh, you always have been a motivating factor uh, to all the younger faculties. So, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for. On behalf of Jignesh, thank you for writing the preface also for the book. Uh, uh, um, I also thank uh, uh, Dr. Neha Mehta for nicely, you know, uh, building this entire concept, what is digital marketing and why this book is relevant. And you being the subject faculty, I think you are the best judge among us all to uh, do this uh, particular justice. Um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you. Um, on behalf of LJ MBA and on behalf of LJ University, I thank you, the publisher, the publishing uh, uh, expert press, you know, for you know agreeing to print uh, this book. Uh, uh, and as I was talking to Jignesh yesterday, that he said that uh, they were very prompt in responding, and they came out also uh, very quickly uh, with this output um, in terms of this particular book. So, on behalf of University, I also take this opportunity to thank the publisher for uh, you know. Uh, making this book available uh, uh, to all of us. Thank you all the faculty colleagues uh, for always being there for uh, making any event successful. Thank you students for always, you are a backbone of the university, backbone of our college. I also thank admin staff for creating all this environment and uh, quickly uh, you know, arranging all the things. Thank you for the MCA faculty and the placement cell also for making this particular room available. So uh, thank you all for being here.